there is a ton of clay in the ground here. See that good color? So that's fantastic. So I found a pretty decent pile of clay and I just kind of went overboard and kept digging. But there's some really good clay here and I got part of this bucket, and this bucket, and this bucket. And see the color difference between this In order to get the clay through that screen, I need to dilute it quite a bit. So I'm gonna do a half and half mixture of this and water. This is a 200 micron stainless steel mesh screen. And there will be a few roots here and there, but this screen will definitely get that all out. After that, I'm going to mix it with an electric mixer on my drill. If you don't have that, you can definitely mix it with whatever you'd like. Just get it to a smooth texture. And while I'm sifting, it does settle, so I mix it throughout. Kind of cool to watch it bubble. This is fully processed clay through this 200 micron stainless steel mesh. And it's been sitting for probably three weeks. And I can see there's like clear water here and then clay at the bottom. So I'm going to pour out the water now. I'm being very gentle, so to not turn it up. As you can see, kind of got a little smoky down there. But it's looking pretty good. Oh my, look at that. Very nice. Okay, I 
think this is full enough because if it's any fuller, I will not be able to carry it right. This is some grade A 200 micron clay in the making. There's not a whole lot that's separating anymore, so I think I'm ready to put it into cloth and let it drip. I'll let it drip for maybe six days. I don't know. I'm just gonna go by how it feels. So I just have a full cotton cloth. And then I've got my twine. This is going to seal this and help me hang it on my clothesline. it all poured in there I'm gonna just gather gather and you want to make sure you get it all so it doesn't open up in part of an area I'm just gonna evenly lift this is what I'm talking about watch these little slight ends over here too make sure it's all smooth I like to tie it in a way that I'll be able to remove it easily because I don't like to fight. The top here is a bit dry and the bottom is in the middle. The middle is less dry but very malleable so I'm going to put it inside and mix it up. It's raining anyway so got to get it inside. that that is how to make clay from your backyard <laughs>